Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tan Butterflies. We are working on day six of the 12 days of Christmas. And today's theme is snowman. So I have one small little project for you. And don't forget that our hosts are Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista with Krista's Crafty Life. I will leave the playlist and each of their channel links in the um, description box so that you can go watch all of the videos in the playlist. I also want to say thank you so much to my current su subscribers. Your support means the world to me. And any of you coming over from the playlist that are new, I invite you to uh, like, comment, share, subscribe so that you can get, um, so you're notified every time I upload new content. So today's project, I took a little, uh, this little shadow box and I am again playing with the chalk paste and, um, silk screens. So, oh, pardon me. It is almost midnight, and I'm trying to get this voiceover done, and the yawns have taken over. Anyway, so, um, I decided to use this little, um, stencil with a snowman, and just do, like, a little scene in the shadow box. So, the stencil that I have, and most of the chalk paste I'm working with, I got off of Amazon. Um, I did, I was so excited because I did today get the two, uh, chalk couture colors that I ordered in the mail. So I was kind of excited to get to play with them. And I did notice one thing, um, for any of you that are, are interested in doing you know, working with the chalk paste and the transfers and whatnot. Um, I haven't noticed a lot of difference in the transfers, but now that I actually have some of the, the chalk paste from Chalk Couture versus what I ordered off of Amazon, um, I can say in doing this project, because I had to use a little bit of both, because I only ordered two colors, um, well, three. I got uh, a little packet, too. Actually, I ordered four. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, there is definitely, I found a definite difference between the pastes. The paste that I ordered off of Amazon... Um, just seems to be thinner and harder to get a good clean coverage on. Um, so, uh, and then when I, when I went and used the chalk couture pastes on here, it was a whole different feel, a whole different, um, it just, it covered better. I didn't have to struggle with it as much as I did with the, uh, the thinner paste that I got off of Amazon. Um, so, with that being said, if you're interested in getting into working with some of the chalk, uh, couture stuff or chalk paste and whatnot, um, I definitely would recommend going ahead and biting the bullet. And going with the chalk couture. Now, Brenda is a chalk couture designer. She always has her link um, in her description box for the chalk couture. And that's where um, I ordered my stuff through. So if you're interested in getting in getting in, you know, into like the chalk couture stuff and playing with the, you know, the transfers and or not the transfers. <laughs> The silk screen stencils and the chalk paste. Um, definitely bite the bullet and do the chalk couture. Now you can order like the small little, you know, the little packets to start out with if you need to. 
Um, because I, I mean, whether you get it off of whether you get your stuff off of Amazon or you get it from Chalk Couture, it's not cheap by any means. Um, yes, I got a whole kit with um with the pastes, several pastes in it. I think there was like twelve pastes, maybe fifteen. Um, in what I ordered off of the Amazon, and it was less expensive than if I had gone and ordered the Chalk Couture paste. But, you get what you pay for. This this one's the Chalk Couture paste, and I barely had to, I, I barely needed any at all, and it just went on so much smoother and with better coverage. And this one's got pretty shimmers in it. Ah, uh, I'm a sucker for the shimmers, guys. I really am, especially at Christmas time. So, definitely, it, you know, now that I've worked with both, I can definitely say that the Hawk Couture paste is definitely the superior. And I will strive to see that little packet there that I just used. You can start out by ordering some of those. And if you're doing smaller projects, um, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of paste in there. But with the Chalk Couture paste, a little goes a very long way. Um, because it has superior coverage. Uh, I only took like a little teeny dab of what was in there to do the star with and um you know you can fold the fold them over and clip them or whatever you know to keep them from drying out you know so try with that start with that if um if you want to give it a try anywho so enough about that <laughs> I got on my chocolate soap box I'm not even a designer but you would, you know, anyway, I just, I, I felt that since I've tried both of them that I really needed to, you know, let any of you know that might be interested in it, um, the, the better quality one to work with. And it is definitely superior. Uh, I haven't noticed a whole lot of difference, like I said, with the stencils, but, um, I definitely noticed the difference with the pastes. Now, I might end up noticing differences with the stencils as time moves on because they are reusable. So, <clears throat> as I use the different stencils and whatnot, um, I might find that, um, that there is a difference. And, and I'm sure there probably is. I just haven't run across it yet. But anyway, so now that I've got all my chalk paste laid down, um, I'm taking and making a bow. And I got really poor coverage with the, the white, the black, the black on the hat, the white on the snowman and whatnot. So you'll see here in a minute that I came up with a different plan. Um, you'll see that I have some puff paint sitting there on my tape, my little lap desk. Oh gosh, the yawns! I'm so sorry, y'all. And they're contagious, so you're probably yawning now too. I apologize. But anyway, um, I learned from yesterday's uh, project <laughs> to be patient and not jump straight into the puff paint. Because it does take a while to dry. But that is my fix for the lack of coverage on the snowman. I decided to just go through and, and use puff paint. But from yesterday's uh, issue on the, the video. Where I had something slide down and right through the, the uh, puff paint. Because it takes a while to dry. It's like okay. Don't get all gung-ho about the puff paint. Get the other stuff put in place first so that you can do the puff paint. 
set it aside, let it dry. So that's what we did. This uh, 12 days of Christmas thing has got me all kinds of, yeah, I feel like I'm chasing my tail. Um, I, there's so many of the themes I want to participate in, but I do have a full-time job outside of this and could not get a good enough head start on these things. So I'm like the night before, right before midnight, finishing up, editing, doing a voiceover so that before I go to work in the morning, I can have it all uploaded and set to, to air at the time that it's supposed to. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's taken its toll on me. I, I have kicked myself because I keep, you know, I'm like, okay, it's okay if you, if you skip and do every other day or, you know, whatever. And no. I, I, I'll skip what I need to skip um, if I'm running out of time or if I can't think of a project that I can do semi-quickly. Um, and when I sat down to do this, I was thinking, well, you know, this should be simple enough. I can get this done and then move on to the next project um, for the next day. No, no. Like I said, it's almost midnight, and I'm doing the voiceover for this and haven't even started on the next day's project yet. So, fun, fun. And to be honest with you, I almost didn't do today's because I wasn't sure that I had I had a couple of snowman ideas. Um, it's just really hard with, with like snowmen and gingerbread men and stuff like that. Um, there's so many creators out there that, that enjoy doing, you know, projects with snowmen, gingerbread men, that kind of thing that, um, sometimes it's a struggle to try to come up with an original idea or something that's, that's, you know, not been overdone. So I got my chalk paste in today and I was like, let me see if I have a snowman stencil. I might be able to real quick do a small little project. Mm, it wasn't real quick. It took me much longer than I expected it to. But nonetheless, uh, I've got it done. And had fun playing with the new colors paste because they're shimmery and they're pretty. And I'm one of those. Ooh, sparkly. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the, the really pretty shimmery stuff. I've, I've always, I don't know. I've always been odd that way. Um, uh, much to my mother's frustration. Growing up, uh, I was kind of a combination of a tomboy and a girly girl. <laughs> I always wanted the frilliest dresses with the most lace and the most, you know, colors and sparkles and shimmers and sequins and stuff like that. Um, if we were, you know, doing anything that required me wearing a dress, you know, and whatnot. But then, you know, on the, the day to day regular whatever, I was the first one to jump on a four wheeler and go play in the mud, come back covered from head to toe with mud. And oh man, that drove her crazy. Because I was a girl, I wasn't supposed to get dirty, you know? But anyway, so I, I digress. I got off on a tangent there. You can see I took um, puff paint and filled in all of the white parts of the snowman. And then I used a little bit of it to flock the tree. And then I sprinkled some of that uh, ultra fine white glitter on there. Just give it a little bit of sparkle and shimmer. 
and you can also see that I um, down in the front there and on the bottom I had used some of the faux snow from Dollar Tree because I couldn't get the, the I didn't want to cut the stencil that close um, I don't know I just I didn't want to cut it up um, that much and I couldn't get the the line even with the bottom so I just turned around and I was like oh well I can just throw some snow in there right so I also took some of the red puff paint I used black puff paint on the hat and I used some of the red puff paint to fill in for ornaments on that tree so thanks for watching